Hello, welcome to TechSharmat. In this session, we will cover the further values from the RTV job, RTV says well command. So for that, I have created the one demo program. So I am taking this program in edit mode. So as usual, firstly we are declaring few variable here. So today we have declared three variable, and we, these are the variable that we are going to discuss in this session. To know about the type and length of these variable, you can refer the IBM official website for the RTV says well command and uh, from there you will uh, get to know about what should be the type and what should be the length of the variable so once you declared the variable as per the specification then you are good to start with the command so for that you just need to write rtv says well and then take f4 so once you take f4 it will take you to this screen from there you can press f1 on the says well command field and this is the screen where you will find all the information regarding the values that we are retrieving so just do page down these are the values that we have already covered today we are going to cover this one so what is this it is qalw job itp so its name also indicate the purpose allow job interruption okay so this will tell whether the job is allowed on for the interruption or not it is mentioned as allow job to be interrupted and the, here you can read the further information also like here it is mentioned the sy this system value specifies how the system respond to user initiated resource request to interrupt a job to run a user defined exit program in that job the call job interrupt program this API in the IBM information center you can refer this uh, link where you will find all the information but the main thing you should know about this is if it is returning zero then it means the system will not allow jobs to be interrupted to run user defined exit program but if it returns one that means the, the system will allow jobs to be interrupted to run user defined exit program okay so it will return either zero or one if it is zero then system is not allowing and if it is one then system is allowing now another value we have is q a l w o b g r s t allow object to be restored okay so it will tell whether the allow it will allow objects to be restored okay now third one is q a l w user dmln which means allow user domain objects and libraries or directories okay so this is how these are the information that we, we can retrieve from these variable now what to you need to do you just need to copy this value which you want to retrieve from this command let's say i want to retrieve this uh, qalw job itp so i will copy it and simply go and paste it here in system value field now we have tell like this is the value that we want to retrieve now it's time to pass the variable where we want to store the value so we will just pass the variable name I keep the same name so that it will be easy to understand which value we are retrieving and but make sure that whatever the variable you are using it should be uh, it should be uh, referred from the IBM uh, official website and specification should be same as per the system value in the same manner we have uh, received the other two values also so just write rtv as well press f1 here you can pass that second value name and its variable and and for the third one also just write rtv as well take f4 and copy the third value name and pass the variable so was once these three lines got executed now it's time to print the values so i'm using sndpj msc command to print these value as these variable are already in of type character so there is no need of type conversion so i am directly passing it to sndpj msg so just uh, write sndpj msg then press f4 and here you can pass the variable name okay so after executing these three lines we will be able to see the output on the screen so it's time to compile it i'm calling it and comp i'm compiling it and calling it it is compiled successfully uh, now we will call this and see the output what it we have retrieved for these those three variable so calling so first it is returning is zero which means system is not allowing job to be interrupted second output we are getting as a star all third output we are getting as a star all okay so this is how we can uh, retrieve these three information related to the system with the help of rtv syswell command
I hope it is clear to all of you and that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture myth